If you're wondering about HTML and if you're wondering about how it works and if it's worth spending the time to even learn, then you're definitely in the right spot. In just a few minutes here, what I want to do is I want to explain some fundamental concepts related to HTML. I want to explain exactly how it all works and help you decide if it's something that you want to invest the time in to learn. So let's jump into it. Okay, I'm going to do my best to keep this as short and sweet as possible. I want to give you a clear idea of what HTML is all about and use some simple metaphors or simple concepts for you to help you along here. I have to stress, this video is not comprehensive. This is not a deep dive or a detailed look at HTML. All I want to do is give you a brief idea, as I say, as to how it works and whether it's worth spending the time to learn or not for yourself. Now, I should mention here before we really get rolling that HTML has a sidekick, a partner in crime called CSS. In fact, in web design, what we do is we pair these two technologies or languages, if you want to think of them as that, together. So they kind of work together, kind of like, I don't know, Batman and Robin or... Starsky and Hutch or Tango and Cash or something like this. Anyway, now this video here, you can actually pair up with two other videos that I've put together. One that covers the basics of CSS, so you can understand how that works. And then a second video that I've put together that shows you how to use HTML and CSS together, how they fit and how they function together. Now, as soon as those two other videos are published, I'll link up to them for you down below in the show notes. Definitely check them out to get a full understanding of how all of this works together, what HTML is, what CSS is, how they fit together, the whole shebang. All right, are you ready to dig into HTML, at least at this point in time? I hope so. You may want to grab yourself something to take notes with. You may want to grab some kind of a beverage of choice. Let's jump into it. Here's the fundamentals of HTML. All right, now what the heck is HTML? How does it work? What is it used for? Well, at its core, HTML is the fundamental building blocks of web design. If you're interested, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, but we don't really need to know that. We don't really care about that. What we do care about is exactly what it'll do. It's basically the coding language that's used to construct web pages. And I really have to stress here, I use terms or phrases like coding or languages, but this is not programming. HTML is very, very simple, very basic. Same with his partner in crime, CSS. I wouldn't call that programming at all. It's just a simple language. Now, as far as HTML is concerned, it simply provides the, the static plain structure for a web page. It's the structural framework for a web layout. And interestingly, no matter what software or web design tool you use to build your web pages, whether that's Dreamweaver or WordPress or some other kind of web builder, they're all going to be constructing HTML pages. Okay. Why? Because that's exactly what a web browser does. A web browser translates background code like HTML into a visual layout for humans like you and I to navigate through and surf through and things like this. That's how it all works. Now, HTML is comprised of just two primary components that I want to tell you about here. We have elements and we have attributes. Let me define each of these for you. All an element is, very, very simply, is an object that sits on your page. That's it. What kind of an object? Think of things like headings or paragraphs or maybe a video or maybe an image or maybe a table. All of these elements, all of these objects that you can insert into a uh, web page, these are HTML elements, okay? Now, elements are the, the fundamental building blocks of your pages. I want you to think of elements like Lego bricks or like building blocks. Building blocks or containers that can be stacked on top of or even inside of one another. Now, we'll talk more about this concept of putting 
HTML elements inside other elements in just a moment. But for now, just think of them as building blocks, okay? So I want to mention here too that these building blocks typically would have two components, an opening tag, as they're called, and a closing tag. So maybe if I want to make some text bold, I would have an opening point for that bold to be applied. And then some point later on, I'd have a closing tag to, to turn off the bolding, if you will. When I used to teach this in the classroom, I'd use the metaphor of a light switch. I want the element to turn on at some point. I'm going to turn it on with an opening tag. I'm going to have a whole bunch of content. And then later on, at some point, I want to turn that element off. So I have to insert a closing tag to shut it off or to turn it off or to close it. Okay. Now, not all HTML elements have opening tags and closing tags. Some of them only have an opening tag. A great example of this is an image. To insert an image, we simply have an image opening tag. It just kind of sits on its own. There's no way to end an image, right? Now, this concept, though, of an opening tag and a closing tag creates a container. And this is how I think of HTML elements. I think of them as containers or boxes. And then what we can do is we can place content inside that container, maybe something like this, where inside the bold container or the strong container, we insert some content. So in this example, we're going to get bold text. Again, the bold turns on, there's some content, and then at some point later on, the bold turns off. Okay. Now you can use HTML elements or HTML containers to hold other containers. So you might have something a little bit more complex like this. And as you can see, we have a whole bunch of opening tags or starting points, and then a whole bunch of closing tags or closing points, and they're all kind of nested inside of one another. So really, HTML is all about putting elements inside other elements and then stacking all those elements to create a layout or use whatever metaphor you want. Boxes inside boxes, containers inside containers. Sometimes I use the metaphor of Russian dolls or, you know, have you ever been given a present? Someone gives you a great big present, maybe on your birthday or at Christmas or something, and you open it up and there's another box inside it. You open that up and there's another box and another box, and another box. Whatever metaphor you want to use, that's how HTML works. It's all about putting boxes inside boxes and stacking boxes on top of other boxes. That's pretty much it. So in this example here, we might have a paragraph which is inside an article, which is inside a div. And then inside that paragraph, we have some text which appears bold. OK, now don't worry too much about what these elements are or how they work. Just for now, understand this fundamental concept of boxes inside boxes. Now, there are, of course, many HTML elements that you can use to construct and build your web pages with. The good news is that you don't have to memorize anything. A lot of this is actually really, really straightforward. So that's elements, our first component of HTML. The second component to HTML, don't forget, is attributes. What the heck is an attribute? Well, all an attribute is, is a further description of an element. That's it. So an attribute might determine an element's color or maybe its dimensions, or it might control it in some other way. And how it works is the attribute always appears inside the element's opening tag and it's always going to follow a similar structure. It's always going to be attribute equals value. That's just how it works. So for example, a paragraph element that has an align attribute applied to it, which is going to take the text and align it to the center might look something like this. Notice the structure, notice how it all works. It's pretty much the same for all HTML attributes. So attributes are used to apply formatting or to otherwise control what really is plain, boring, unformatted, structural HTML. Remember, HTML is just a simple structural framework, right? Every element, I should mention, has a specific set of attributes that you can apply to it or use for it. And you know what? That's really it. That's all there is to HTML. It really boils down to understanding this concept of boxes inside boxes, that metaphor, containers inside containers and stacking those containers. And then just knowing a little bit about those elements, those containers, which ones you can use and which attributes go with which elements. That's really all there is to HTML.
All right, so there's our short and sweet look at what HTML is all about. I hope you enjoyed. You learned about elements and you also learned about attributes. You learned about this concept of boxes inside boxes and you learned about some of the, the syntax or how things are structured. But the burning question, do you need to learn HTML? If you're building websites or if you're running an online business, is it worthwhile to spend the time to learn HTML? Truthfully, no, you don't absolutely have to learn HTML to be able to run your website or run your online business. But even taking a little bit of time to learn the basics will make things a heck of a lot easier for you. You'll be much more self-sufficient and you'll be able to handle a lot more on your own rather than relying on a flaky outside freelance designer. And this is coming, by the way, from a guy who has an artistic background. My background comes from visual arts, so I'm the last guy on the planet that should learn techie stuff like code, right? But I always strongly encourage people to learn even just the basics of HTML and even CSS, and it's really not that bad, to be honest. You could learn the basics of HTML and CSS in just a few hours, and it would give you a much better understanding of how web pages are constructed, how web design works, and even how to troubleshoot any problems that may come up. But at this point in time, you may want to focus on other aspects of your online business and of your website, maybe like getting the site online at first, maybe get the site generating revenue, but at least keep HTML and CSS in the back of your mind to get to to learn at some point in time. I do have a full length in-depth HTML and CSS course here on Tenton if you're interested. I'll link up to that in the show notes below. But most importantly, don't be intimidated by HTML or CSS. It's ridiculously easy to learn. And like I say, I could teach you the fundamentals in just a few hours. It's one of those things that, you know, you finally, after agonizing, I'm sure, for a long period of time, you sit down to learn it and you go, that's it. That's all there is to it. When does it get hard? I know at least that was my experience when I finally sat down to learn HTML myself years and years ago. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed all this. Now, if you haven't done so yet, join me over at 10tononline.com forward slash free, where I've put together a free online video course that takes this discussion of web design and building online businesses even further. I look forward to seeing you there. And 10 Ton is powered by people just like you. So please do consider supporting us. I love putting together videos like this and making videos like this. I'll leave a link for you down below that'll show you how you can do that. All right, I hope you enjoyed. And hey, listen, if you know anyone who's struggling with web design, who's struggling with maybe whether they should learn HTML or not, send them the link to this video. Let's help them out a little bit. All right, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had some fun. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.